We are ready to support Golok Jonathan in 2027. Atiku cannot decide for us. PDP speaks. The People's Democratic Party for PDP has supported the call for former President Goodluck Jonathan to join the 2027 presidential race. Recall that the governor of Bauchi State, Bala Mohammed, vowed to abandon his presidential ambition if Jonathan indicates any interest to contest. Some Northern leaders who are displeased with President Bola Metsunembu's administration have also called for Jonathan's return to the presidency. Reacting to the development during an interview with The Punch, PDP's Deputy National Publicity Secretary Ibrahim Abdullahi said the position of the Baoche governor and Northern Elite resonated with the party. He said, We are absolutely in support of the position of the Baoche state governor. Do not forget he was a prominent member of the Jonathan's administration where he was a minister. As the chairman of the 13 governors of the People Democratic Party, a two-term minister, former senator, and a two-term governor rounding off his second term, you will expect him to understand and appreciate the situation of where this country is coming from, where it, it is at the moment, and where we hope to take it to the future. If you're talking about a southern presidency in 2027, we should be talking about, we should be looking at one who had enjoyed one term and will probably give Nigerians hope and prosperity as opposed to the one we have in power. Secondly, if you're also talking about a nationalist, somebody who will not rig an election to keep himself in office, who announced before the counting process was over that he lost, he asked to be Jonathan. He remembered that he called the victor, congratulated him, and asked him to send people for the transition process. So it is we believe that we can save the situation. No president in Nigerian history has been as criticized as Sibylla Jonathan. We tolerated all sort of insults targeted at us and his presidency. But today, he is the one everybody is looking for with a torchlight, even on broad daylight. Puts pointing the, that the decision may not go down well with PDP former presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, who has been labeled a serial contester by the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. The PDP spokesman argued that Atiku cannot dictate for the party who to field in 2027, despite being a major stakeholder of the People Democratic Party, PDP. It is not the place of Atiku to decide for the party. We are running a national political party for crying out loud, one that has governed this country for 16 years. We cannot be expected to have one person determine the direction of the party. If anything, we respect him. He has given it the presidency trial, and it has been on this for too long. But there are times when you realize a battle is no longer around you and you support someone. This is how things are done. If in 2019 we tried, in 2023 we tried, again with Atiku, there is nothing wrong with trying as someone else in 2027, especially if the odds seem to favor that person more, which is the case. The situation the country is facing today is one that has gone beyond party lines or other narrow considerations. We require a nationalist and the clout of good luck, Jonathan, to be able to salvage the situation. It is clear that for the six and a half years that he was president, he was able to stabilize the forex to a very reasonable, to a very reasonable extent. The country was able to go on single-digit inflation. This will continue to reference, he stated. Well, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Make Jonathan no fall into their trap. Jonathan no grillo. The place where they put you now, they reverence you past even the president. I beg. You see that place where they give that's a good name is better than riches, my brother. Remain dear. Uh -huh. Don't allow them to cajole you. Now these people now you know allow you drink water. Drop up. All of a sudden, you are now their Messiah. I beg, make everybody day their day. No come aside for these people. These people know you better people. Look, they have messed up that place and they are now coming out to scream that things are not going well. Me, I will talk the truth. They mess up the place by themselves. Make sure certain things not day okay. Then, come come aside. Come they carry. What is they carry face for? Eh? <laughs> okay, oh. Jonathan cannot win election in Nigeria. Instead, Peter Biotiku is a more preferred candidate. 
reasons APC has built up INEC to favor them in an important position in the country. It is only a tickle that can challenge INEC somehow. Another thing, PDP needs to settle a lot of misunderstanding among themselves, especially the top men. The same people that remove you, you want to bring back. They want to use you. Don't allow yourself to be used. Atiku will certainly form a new party. Atiku is a confusionist in PDP. And they tell you that the man that they call for the Okata Kata, where they wrap one for PDP. PDP, come and pick another good man in Yoruba line. Good, good, okay, join good luck. Okay. They say me they come pick another person as a vice. Because the constitution allows him only one tenure. Good luck, everybody, Jonathan, with all the insults rained to him or rained on him in 2015. The North are thinking that other section of Nigerians are fools. Tenable for eight years, whether they like it or not. Four plus four for life. Instead of good luck, why not try the wife? <laughs> You cannot leave me. Say if they would ever try the wife, that woman they give us joy now. Nah. What's in the insult on that time we in the eh? at least in care for now. Nah. Eh? They come outside, they talk. The person will get empathy. And I say no one person will get empathy. And I say no one person will speak English with her nose. I know well. He has contributed this quarter. Nigeria be allowed to move forward with him, the new couple of leaders with integrity, sincerity, and political will. To make the difference for the betterment of the citizenry. Jonathan should send someone to Aso Rock to bring his forgotten fishing drag net some years ago. Jonathan, they dug a very big hole for you. Jonathan, they drag a very big hole for you to fall inside. Becoming the president of Nigeria again should not be your political ambition now. The size of the issue you left for Aso Rock and Nigeria, no one can wear it. Be careful and wise. They want to lure you into another heap of insults and embarrassment unless you enjoy the insults. I know it's in a trap now. They want him to go there. See, they, they have messed up the whole place. The Northerners know they have messed up the place. And they're not even ready to clean the mess. They want to continue keeping that place in a mess. For that place to be cleaned up, the place should be cleaned up by person way ahead. We'll be saying an APC person is supposed to start the cleaning process. Then if the cleanup comes start, maybe and here you can now look for somebody from another political party. But you see that place where APC mess up, I didn't suppose clean up. I'm advising you don't come out so that they will not disappoint you. Respect yourself. You already have respect in Nigeria. I am talking about good luck. Me too. I'm talking about him as well. Make demand. Anywhere when they make him remain there because these people they don't get good intention for him at all. They don't get good intention for them at all, at all. We don't need all these our present and past leaders anymore. They don't have good record. Let us vote a young, vibrant youth with vision. Okay, the solution to Nigeria's enormous problem is disintegration. Just like Singapore and Malaysia parted ways and each became pro- And they tell you, it might be that in our parting ways, we can even find ways to grow, to grow faster and even better. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending in to listen until I come here next time.